Hey, thanks again for joining us with Weekly Word. We appreciate you uh, watching. Hope you'll share this maybe with somebody that could use a word of encouragement and strength in their life. And uh, who knows what God might do as you reach out to somebody. You know, uh, when I was in high school, I uh, had to run track, even though I despised track, uh, because I played basketball. Back in those days, that was a rule. And so I decided I'd run the mile uh, for some reason, because I wasn't fast, basically. And so I used to run the mile, and I remember my first track meet when I started out and the gun fired and we started running around the track and I was leading the way. Man, I felt strong. Man, I looked good. People were cheering for me. I had started strong. I think you can tell where this story is going because at the end of the race, I finished last. I burned out way too fast, broke out from the pack way too fast and finished last. You know, the Bible talks to us about a guy that did not finish well. He started strong. He was the pride and joy of his nation. He was incredible. His name was Solomon, the son of David. Solomon was so squared away in his life that he says to God in a prayer, uh, God says, what do you want, Solomon? I'll, I'll give you whatever you want. And Solomon said, God, all I want is wisdom so I can lead your people. Be faithful to you, be faithful to them. Just give me wisdom, God. And so God says, you know what? I'm gonna give you wisdom, but also I'm gonna give you everything else. I'm gonna give you riches, prominence, power. You're gonna achieve and do incredible things. And Solomon did. But Solomon didn't finish like he started. He broke out from the pack, but he really finished in the back. He drifted. And the reason he drifted was because he had a weakness. He liked women, and he liked women from other places who worshiped other gods and had different ways of living. And all of a sudden, Solomon finds himself falling further and further behind of where God wanted him to be. It's not how you start necessarily, it's how you finish. It's whether you run the full race. So how do we stay in the race? How do we finish well? There are a few things in the Bible, though, that teach us we can do in our lives to help us to finish strong and not to drift away from where God wants us to be. Uh, the first thing that we've got to remember in our lives is, and be aware of, is when all of a sudden we notice in our life that our public life and our private life are not matching up. They're not congruent. In other words, where we're acting one way around people around church or acting one way at work, but in our private life, we've got a whole nother thing going. When there's a gap between our public and private life and that gap continues to grow and grow and grow, what we're doing is we're drifting. We're failing to be who God wants us to be. No, the real uh, ease in life in the real coming together of our life is when our public and our private life match up. When we are who we are everywhere, when we're trying to love God and spending time with God privately, but then also living it out publicly. The second thing we gotta be aware of is when we start to, start to wanna hide things. We start to wanna hide our phone. When we quickly hide our computer when somebody comes in or our spouse comes in. When we start to hide things, that's always a bad sign in our lives. Live life open. Let your life be open. That way Satan doesn't have the ability to creep in and get you to convince yourself it's okay to do whatever it may be that doesn't match up with what God wants for your life. The third thing we gotta be aware of is when we find ourselves, our words, always justifying our behavior. Why we're doing this. When we spend a lot of time justifying our behavior, that's really a sign that maybe our behavior is starting to drift away, that we're not gonna finish well in our lives. The last thing I would say is, is that we've also gotta remember that to finish well, to finish strong in our lives, we've got to keep our eyes fixed on the ending goal, and that is to be pleasing and honoring to God. I don't want to just start the race and run a strong race. I want to run to the very end, and I bet you do too. So let's start strong, and let's finish strong. 
Let's finish well and not drift. And it's never too late to get back in to where God wants us to be. May God bless you. We'll see you next week. Nothing you